many years of selling on eBay, recently I've decided to open a second account. And I'm going to talk to you about the ups and downs you have to go through to have a second account. So before I've opened a second account, I've decided to give the give the a eBay team a call. So I've spoken to um, guys in Philippines and then in Ireland and assured them my intention of opening a second account and obviously they asked me what I'm going to do and believe it or not blatantly I told them I will use that account as a drop shipping. Now in eBay's terms and condition they do allow drop shipping but they say they they use this word called product sourcing. The same thing as drop shipping, but it's called it comes under products sourcing. Okay, so what basically what eBay wants you to do is they want to keep their customer happy. Yes, you you do like as an eBay seller, you want your customer to be happy. Also, they want to keep their customer happy, their platform clean from scammers and what have you. So there's a procedure they go through, right? End of the day, eBay is not going to be harsh on you because you making money, they're making money, and end of the day, win-win situation. So uh, it's highly unlikely that you be get banned or being silly is if you're thinking of having a second account or third account make sure you have a chat with the eBay team first and they will ask you question specific question what your intention what are you gonna do and blah blah all the rest of it and you tell them the truth don't hide anything just tell them the truth and they much more happier you tell them the truth rather than lying and then say, start messing around so and that would be my advice if you start doing drop shipping, things like that. Make sure because eBay knows everything about you, so it's not good, um, you know, telling them porkies, it's not gonna get you anywhere. So, so I decided I opened up a I, um, second account, I linked it with my PayPal, PayPal account, and I'm good to go. Fantastic. Uh, the day I opened the account, I've loaded a couple of items and behold, after two, three hours, uh, my second account was suspended. A usual, usual nonsense um, letter or email came from eBay, oh, you violated terms of condition of your eBay account, blah, 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 uh, we will suspend you any amount of money you owe us, we pay back. Um, and it went on and on. And it says, um, give me another email with security issue, blah, blah, blah. Although I told them what I'm doing, I've um, truthfully upfront about what's going on. So I was a bit annoyed, but my concern was it's okay if they shut the second account, it's only just started, so so what? But what if it affects my my number one account, which is the premier account? The one I have with top rated seller, power seller, 1300, almost 1300 feedback. What if that affects that one? So luckily, instantly I went, logged in another browser, you know, I use a different, uh, I logged into the other account and I found everything is fine. But in the, in the, in, in the first email it says they will block my PayPal account. Unfortunately, I went in the PayPal account and that was working fine. No problem with that. Then the next day I've decided to give eBay a chinwag again, give them a call. So I called them up and say, hey, what's going on? Why have you? shut uh, put a suspension on my account for and i was upfront good about it and instantly within 10 minutes 
they have reinstated my account. Fantastic. So that's a good, good thing. But the sad thing was, as I experienced eBay seller, I, I had to put up with 20 listing first. 20 free listing. So what did I do? I called back eBay again. And I said, look, uh, I've been selling on eBay for many years and I have, you know, I gave them the account and, and I told them I can list in my first account, I can list up to 2,500 something listing or 35,000 pound worth of items per month. My limit is up to 35,000 pound a month. Right. And again, the lady asked what sort of thing I intend to do. And I said, yeah, I'm going to do blah, blah, blah. Like the drop, you know, I told them straight, told her straight what my intention was. And I said, look, 20 listing is not good enough. You know, I need, I need to raise the limit. You know, and behold, there and then, they raised my listing li limit to 200 and 5,000 pound selling limit per month on my second account. So it proves if you, uh, if you communicate with eBay and you tell them the truth and you go on, keep on, you know, any, any issues, you have a chat with them. And be frankly telling the truth. I don't see why you can do what I've done. It's possible. You can raise your limit. You can do whatever. Provided you are talking to them. And you're nice to them. And kind to them. So that would be my advice, guys. If you're trading on eBay and thinking of opening up a second account. You know, do as I did. Go and talk to them. If you, if you want to. Any case, any problem, any to issue, first of all, give them a call. And don't hide anything from eBay because they know your tricks. They know everything. What's going on or not going on. So basically, I just like to share my frustration and getting the account back. And I'm running now, which is good. And thank you so much for watching this video. And the next video, I will come with something different. Thank you.